Today I have a project for those frugal fishermen out there. I'm going to show you how to turn an ordinary kitchen spoon into a spoon lure. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is find some eye protection. Uh, the economics of this little project won't work out too well if you make a trip to the eye doctor. After you have eye protection on, the first thing you'll need to do is get a hacksaw and cut the handle off the spoon. You're going to want to cut it as close to the spoon itself as possible and once you get about halfway through uh, cutting it, the handle will probably break off on its own. You just bend it back and forth until it breaks. The next thing you need to do is file or sand down um, the sharp edges where the handle was. You can use a file or if you have a grinder that works even better. If you use a grinder, you'll find that there's still a few sharp edges when you're done. So you'll have to uh, use a file to finish up probably anyway uh, until it's all smooth. You're also going to have to use a hammer and um, reduce the curved surface a little bit of the spoon. Uh, that's normally necessary to make it swim better in the water. You might have to experiment a little bit to get it exactly right um, so it will, will go through the water as it's supposed to. Once you've done that, uh, now you're ready to drill a hole on each end of the spoon. And I use a, something like an eighth inch bit or even something a little smaller and try to get it um, right at the each end of the spoon. Once you have the holes drilled you need to attach a split ring to each end and one of those will be to attach your line to and the other one will be to use to attach a treble hook. Normally you can find split rings for sale at either a hardware store or a tackle store. Now once you put split rings on each end of the spoon then you want to attach a treble hook. Now a spoon actually has kind of a teardrop shape, it's not a, an exact oval. So you want to attach the line on the narrow or more pointed end of the spoon and then the opposite end is where you'll attach the treble hook. Once you have the hook attached you might want to take it out and test it just to make sure it swims well, that you don't have to change the shape of it at all and then once you've done that you're ready to go ahead and paint it. In my case I use fingernail polish and I just used a, um, some black and some uh, red fingernail polish to, to give it kind of a speckled look and obviously you can use your imagination here to um, make it look however you want. Do us a favor and um, rate this video by pressing like or dislike or let us know what you think in the comments and as always thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.